My name is Forrest Dowd and this is a video blog post on the use of multimedia in education. To begin, I'd like to explain what the term multimedia actually means. Anyagre and Inyagre state that multimedia is an all-inclusive term that refers to using a variety of media sources and presenting information for learning. They further state that in recent times the term hypermedia has become more commonly used in its place. So like me, when I started researching for this blog post, you were probably wondering where did the term hypermedia come from? Well, according to Margaret Roos, the term hypermedia is actually derived from the term hypertext, which is more commonly known as an internet link. In my further research for this blog post, my favorite definition for hypermedia came from Stephen Alessi and Stanley Trollope. They describe hypermedia as information that embodies a multi-sensory combination, including text, audio, video, and photographs. Regardless of whether we call it multimedia or hypermedia, the idea is ultimately to bring together all forms of media, such as sound, video, graphics, software, etc., to help deliver the information we want as effectively as possible. So what exactly are the advantages of using multimedia in education? Ramesh Chandra states that multimedia can stimulate more than one sense at a time, and as a result is often more attention getting as well as attention holding. He also points out that from a cognitive approach, it is not just a form of instruction to learn from, but rather a tool to construct learning with. To me, the great thing about multimedia and learning is that it gives us the ability to construct a learning environment. Video in particular has the power to take what is often an alien or abstract concept in words and turn it into something real, something we can see. I feel videos do a great job of enhancing the learning environment and have experienced firsthand the power that video has to generate discussion in a classroom or enhance lecture content. I also think videos work well to close out a lesson because of the long-lasting impression visuals leave on us. According to Cripple, McGee, and Moody, Studies have shown that multimedia is more effective in helping teach conceptual and theoretical content. However, they go to say that quantitative subjects that require problem solving are not as well served by multimedia. As an educator in the internet age, we have the opportunity to engage our students in ways other generations couldn't imagine. Whether it's video or some other multimedia resource such as pictures, audio, software, or games, multimedia resources can help us bring our students to the next level. That's why it's important when we design a lesson plan, come up with a new classroom activity, or are crafting a new presentation, that we take a serious look at all the multimedia available out there to us. Thank you.